So today's video is going to be a teal green ombre tutorial. I'm going to show you how I completely overhauled one of my hair wigs. I made a custom wig and I colored it. But I got a little tired of that color so I decided to go teal green. All of the products I'm going to be using will be listed in the description box so make sure you check that out because all of that information is very important to recreate this hair color. So what we're doing now is we're going to pre-lighten the end. And the goal for the pre-lightening is to get it to a very light yellow so that we can apply our semi-permanent hair color later on. So with this ombre, I'm gradually adding hair bleach to the hair. I'm starting from the ends and I'm working my way up to the roots. And that's just going to gradually give me a lightened effect. Hi! It's going to gradually give you a lighter effect. So I'm also going to make sure that I'm combing the product through evenly to distribute the product. So we're going to add some hair foil so that that can process a little bit faster. Next we're going to apply a demi permanent color. I have to do this because when I originally created this hair, I bleached one side lighter so now I have to make sure that both sides are even. So I'm being very careful not to apply too much product because I don't want the product to run inside of the hair foil and then I would have to re-bleach the ends. So I'm being very light handed and I'm just going to apply the product liberally and then I'm going to comb it through making sure that it's evenly distributed and I'm going to complete this process on both sides. So about 10 minutes has gone by and it's time to check our foils. So I believe that I achieved the desired level of lift. So it's time to rinse out all of these products and then we're going to let it air dry. So this is the level of lift that I achieved. Um, the hair is still a little bit wet but we're going to move on to apply our semi-permanent hair colors. I'm going to be using two. One is by Adore, which is this baby blue, and the second one is also by Adore, but it's in the color green. So I'm going to be mixing both of these colors. I didn't want to mix them at the same time. I noticed that the colors get really funky when you do that, so I'm going to do a two-step process. I'm going to apply the blue first, leave it on for 15 minutes, and I'm going to complete or repeat the process using the green. Now when applying these colors, you have to make sure that they are evenly distributed with the hair. I cannot stress that enough. I want to constantly work this through, comb it through, work it with my fingers because it's only staying on for 15 minutes. And then after this, I'm going to rinse it out and then I'm going to apply our green color. That's going to stay on for three hours. So after the hair has had a chance to air dry, you can see the green on the roots and you can see a little bit of that touch of blue on the ends. So I think the hair color came out perfectly. But now we're going to start with our styling. I'm going to be applying some really small wand curls. I really wanted a hairstyle that would last me for quite a bit of time. I like when the curls fall and it gives me so many different style options. So I'm going to make really small wand curls and I'm going to complete this process on my entire head. So now that the hair has been curled, you can definitely start to see the different touches of green and blue inside of this color. I love how it fades into each other and it's a very subtle change. I really love the way it came out. So I'm just going to complete this curling process. Also I want to let you guys know I do have a discount code below for this curling wand if you guys are interested. But this is how the curls look and I'm going to apply my unit and we're going to start to style. So the key here was just to separate the wand curls. I don't want it to get too full, but I want these curls to last me for, ooh, ooh, had to adjust. 
I want these curls to last me for quite a bit of time. So that's it for this tutorial guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.